Hi everyone, Spider-Man 1991 on Dark Avenger Inc. Plus, where today I'm doing a review for Young Avengers number six. Okay, this is the first. Okay, and this issue doesn't really star our main team of Young Avengers. No, this issue is a one-shot that features uh, former Young Avenger Tommy Shepard, aka Speed, and former X-Man per David Allen. I hope I'm saying his last name right. David Allen. Alien, uh, his codename's Prodigy. Uh, pretty much, they're both kind of working at this sort of. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, Prodigy. He, they're both kind of working at this weird sort of development firm for superheroes or supervillains, where pretty much Prodigy is working in a call center, answering a helpline for, I guess, either superheroes or supervillains, because he's answering questions like how to disable a fusion reactor or how to stop a nuclear bomb and. You know, if you are dealing with the light, and also what to do if you're dealing with Electra or, or something, it's it's weird. And also, Tommy's working in the assembly part of it, where thanks to his super speed, he's able to do like a week's worth in almost five minutes. And pretty much one day, they both run into each other. They meet. Uh, they kind of strike up a friendship with each other. Uh, then one day, when they go to work, they hear there's this break in, and when they see the footage, they see that the thief is wearing the is wearing a Patriot costume. And this is the original cost, the first costume that was worn by uh, the Young Avenger Patriot back in the very first series, like at the very beginning. And Tommy's, surpri and Tommy's surprised about this. First he calls uh, Patriot's home and in, in, uh, I think he's living in Arizona now. And uh, he calls him and he, it's not him. So, he, so Tommy convinces David to go on stakeout with him. They wait. They stake out the place the next night, and they see a thief reappear. Uh, except when Tommy tries to go strike him, suddenly Tommy like has this nervous breakdown, starts to freak out, then tries to run away. Then the thief somehow dissip dissipates him, like he just is Tommy's just suddenly disintegrating into nothing. Then when and then the thief talks to David, and suddenly David starts having a nervous breakdown, but David still. St is still standing, and then the thief disappears. Okay, um, I really think this is okay. Uh, this is just was a very uh, how should I say this? Not very action packed. Um, I really think this is more of a prologue to what we might might be a prologue to say uh, Prodigy's role in the series because I think he's gonna join the team event because I think right what this issue does is it's just a way for Kieran Gillen to introduce uh to kind of give us an idea about what what happened to speed since the young avengers disbanded and then also answer also kind of introduce us to prodigy for this series because i think prodigy is going to join the team he's going to try he's probably going to end up tracking down wick and telling him like uh yeah your brother's gone i don't know where what happened to him and that's going to lead into prodigy joining the joining the new young avengers so really um i'd say get this if you're i i really think that this issue is just really more of an introduction or something more along the lines of a or a prologue to some to maybe Prodigy's role in the series. I mean, I really don't think this really this could have been a point this really could have been a point one issue to be honest. It, it could have been something like Young Avengers 5.1, you know, I mean, this is just kind of a sort of a fresh jumping on point for new readers. Um, I would say if you want to read Young Avengers, you may want to start here may want to start here because even though this really isn't the best this is really just more of a one shot rather than uh anything of actual substance and i mean maybe start either re start with this issue or if you or start with the next issue number seven because that's going to start a new story arc um so i I'm real. I'm really on the fence about whether or not this was good or bad. On one hand, it gives us an introduction to new characters. On the other hand, it's a very weak issue. So, I'd say it's like right down the middle, 2.5 star. Uh, on five star rating, I'd give it about 2.5. So 50-50, give or take. Really, it's a hit or miss. And uh, but really, the only people who would want to get this are either fans of Prodigy or Speed. Just in case they're wondering, like, hey, what's, what have they been up to? And I don't even think Prodigy's going to appear more in this title rather than any other X-Men titles. Because in this issue, you hear him talk about the X-Men, and he really is not—he really wasn't satisfied with his experience on them since 
skit since the schism and Avengers vs. X-Men, so he's done with being an X-Man. It's possible he could be a young Avenger. That's just a theory I have, and I think that's what Gillen's going to do with him. Uh, but yeah, uh, overall it's a hit or miss, 50-50. This is really more of a hit or miss. I personally think it's it wasn't really worth three dollar two ninety nine. I I think this could have been better as if it was advertised as a point one issue. I may have had a little more positive feedback to it, but as an actual full number issue, not so much. Um, I'd say get it if you again, like I said, get it if you're a fan of Prodigy or Speed or if you're new to this series. Okay, uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to Dark Avenger Inc. Plus, Spider-Man 1991. Saying, see you later.